hot chocolate for breakfast. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. I need my coffee. Which I've already had, but now I need like a hundred. <laughs> Can't find shit. I can't see the number. Nine, we're looking for nine. Which one's nine? I think it's down the bottom. That goes nine. Beautiful job. All right, well, let's help Jack Jack a little bit. I can do my There you go, Jack. Give that a go. Well, good morning, everybody. We know we're being naughty and eating chocolate for breakfast, but it's what Christmas does, time. Does Let me have a look. Sign a Chris. Oh, <laughs> don't read anything upside down. That's what it says. Sing a Christmas song. <laughs> oh, well done. So, yes, we know we're not supposed to be eating chocolate for breakfast, and it's a big no no, but it's Christmas time. We've been very sick the last. Oh, we've been. It's not coronavirus. We've been very, very sick the last couple of days, all of us. What is it? Is it frosty this night? Oh, it might be an elf, lovey. Okay, we can open up 10 because we're really far behind, even in our Christmas chocolate. So, I got we're, a present. we're having our treats oh, and loving it. Yeah. You okay? We can look for 10. Do you know what 10 looks like, baby girl? I think you do. That's 11, Whoa. but... Very close. <gasps> Down. Look at the numbers. <laughs> there, baby. That helps Jack with his. So, yes, as I was saying, we have been awfully sick the last few days, on and off, all of us, and... We thought we may as well treat ourselves because look, all this chocolate's going to waste. Do you need a hand, darling? Just a little one? Oi! Oh, eh. There you go, that should help. Oh, you can do it, just press one side. Press. Oh, oh this one is a hard one. There you go, darling. Well done. Yes, Jack has had yogurt for breakfast. So we have had breakfast. So Jack has had yogurt and hence while he's doused in this white stuff. Oh, and Bella had I got some... a reindeer. Oh, look. A Gorgeous. Mommy. I do like it. <laughs> well done. Look. Oh, that's already been opened, darling. No, it's no. been done. Hi, darlings. Welcome back to our channel. We have started the morning off very Christmassy. <laughs> oh, isn't he gorgeous? What? Another Another I'm too lucky. So we've started our morning off in style. We're having chocolate. Ha ha, chocolate for breakfast. It's Christmas. No, no, we're not that bad. Jack's had his yogurt. Bella's had some toast. We're just eating a couple of our days off the good old event calendar because we've all been sick the last couple of days and we've missed so many days of our event calendar. So. We're treating ourselves this morning. No judgment. It's Christmas. We've been sick. Shush. That says, can you tell 
tell a Christmas joke. A little toilet eats poo poo. A little toilet eats poo poo. Does sound like a joke? It sort of sounds like a joke. She's definitely my child. Wicked sense of humour, it's fabulous. You know those mornings you just wake up and you still feel tired and it takes you about five or six hours to wake up? That's me this morning. So what's our plan for today? Well, we've spent the last two days a little bit out and about. We haven't been too well, so we haven't ventured out for hours and hours at a time. Yesterday I got some really great home essentials. Some arts and crafts for the kids that's just gonna keep them entertained while we're not heading out today. All you parentals out there would know that it is very much like The Shining. Cabin fever. Here's Johnny. If you don't get your kids out of the house, and if you're not going to get the kids out of the house, make sure you are very prepped in your entertaining. So as I was saying, today we are just going to be doing arts and crafts. Mummy's going to be cleaning up Bella's bedroom. I'll show you what it looks like. So you'll get some extreme cleaning motivation. I love <laughs> Gorgeous. So, as I was saying, I am going to be doing some mega aggressive cleaning of Bella's bedroom because OMG, I turned and I wasn't faced in the ocean. And we all know what happens when we don't face the ocean. <laughs> We get dumped. Yesterday I was cleaning the back part behind the lounge and I was totally mesmerized by how awesome it was looking and getting clean because that's a rarity in our house. And I left the kids to their own devices and, and as I was saying, if you turn your back to that ocean, you are gonna get dumped and that's exactly what happened. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're growing up very quickly. Yes, I am. Very quickly. I am. So, uh, yes. I've got some laundry to do as well. Um, it's going to be a fun field day. Hang around for excitement and adventures with the breeze. And Hayley. Okay, so... I'm doing the inevitable. I'm cleaning up Bella's bedroom that she did a full blown massacre in here. Wish me luck, it's gonna take me a good amount of time. I haven't shown you everything yet. Let me give you the grand tour. Oh, a bit of mess there. That's where we strip the bed. Just a whole lot, oh, I can't. a whole lot of loving there, really. It's a bit special. Okay, I'm going to put you in fast forward for this. As I said earlier, it's food aggressive. Cleaning of the daughter's bedroom. voice taking over inside your head again we're cleaning we've got one of my favorite books coming up night before Christmas yeah I used to love getting it read to me as a little girl and we've just started reading it to Belle the last couple of years and it's turning into one of her favorite books too yes, every time the snow is falling down and it is cold
a place that I can come home to. Yes, I am on my way. And if you want the best smelling house product in the whole world, Fur Berets, yeah. I use this every day. We go through so much of it. It hides a mountain full of sin in smells because we've got two toddlers and a dog and us. Ah, uh, hello guys. This is the toddler. <laughs> so I just wanted to take a special moment to show you some of Bella's special crafting. Look! Again, kids are like the ocean. So I wanted to take this moment to introduce to you now, newly named Elvira and Elvis. Aren't they delicious? I want to be in two. I want to be in two, Mom. Yeah, you can. I did it. So, they were, as you saw from one of our previous videos, hopefully you did. If you didn't, I'll link in the description. Please don't touch that. That's glass. That hasn't got any protection on it. Like mummies. What was it? Oh, it was a stocking filler video and showing you what I put in our first December boxes. So, they were originally in Nescafe little canister things. So how they've worked is they're in quarantine, they're letting themselves out. They're like Hatchimals, they're slowly coming out of their jars. Once they're eventually out, the kids will get their chump chumps and they'll start doing some weird things around the house. So we're excited for them to move a little bit more. But mummy's kind of glad that they're staying. Which reminds me. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thank you for joining us. It's our first vlog in a very long time. And it's Vlogmas, so happy Vlogmas. We will see you next time. See you, goodbye. Uh.